Hey all welcome back to another episode of Brave Kids Art Club. My name is Brad and today we're going to be heating things up. We're going to draw a volcano. Volcanoes are amazing and so extremely powerful. So powerful that they can change the entire landscape of the earth. There are some islands out in the ocean that were made by volcanoes. That's how powerful they are. So we're going to learn a lot of more fun facts about these volcanoes as we get to start drawing them. But let's make sure that we have everything we need to get going. All right, make sure you have a nice clean sheet of paper and then we're gonna need a sharpened pencil, of course, to do our sketching. After we finish our sketch, we're gonna outline it with a dark marker or a pen and then uh, make sure you have an eraser handy so we'll get rid of all the sketch marks underneath there. And uh, at the very end, we're gonna do some coloring, which is gonna be a whole lot of fun. So if you don't have to have markers, you can have pencils or paints or whatever else you want, but just something to color with. All right, so let's jump straight into our sketch of our volcano. Now I'd like to draw a volcano that's erupting, which I think would be kind of fun. So we can see some of the lava, some of the smoke or ash, and the actual shape of the volcano would be cool too. I'm going to start off by drawing kind of a cone shape. So we'll go like this. I'm going to start with maybe doing a really light sketch here on the bottom to kind of figure out where the ground is. Light because I'm going to go over this with more detail. And then I'm going to do kind of figure out where the top of this volcano is and maybe this is where it's at. I want to leave a lot of room up here for the spewing lava and the ash, the big cloud of ash. So then I'll do a little shorter line right about there. Maybe it's even smaller than that. Let's do this. There we are. Even smaller. And then I'm just going to connect my lines here like this. Just connected to the ends. There's four main types of volcano. There's the cinder cone, the composite, the shield, and the lava dome. So the one we're gonna be drawing today is more the composite. You should look it up and see what the different shapes are. But you'll see if you look up composite volcano that this is kind of close to what we're drawing right now. They all have different shapes. Like dome ones are kind of rounded and things like that. But I like the shape of this one, kind of a classic volcano. So we'll do this and then let's start with uh, maybe the the lava coming out the top here. I think that'd be fun. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kinda go over and kinda do this little goopy lava like that. Kinda like it's runny. And uh, we'll kinda have a good on the side. So kinda do some wavier, wavier lines here and come back. Kinda like how we did uh, like some drips before when we did I think on our ice cream. What else did we have that was drippy? Oh, like our droopy cheese on our pizza. Things like that. So we're gonna kinda copy that look. And then we're gonna do a little another one, maybe right over here. Now it doesn't have to be perfect. This isn't perfect. This is just how I'm drawing it. Draw some little goopy lines coming off of there to show that the lava is running down the side of your volcano. So I'm gonna kinda go like this, maybe a little bit over here, maybe a little bit lower, like that. See, that's how we have our erasers out and we're using, <laughs> we're using pencils because we may change our mind. I'm going to draw another one over here. So then I'll just kind of go a little goopy. Again, there's no real right way to do this. But yeah, I kind of like how that's looking. So we'll keep that for now, which means we can erase this stuff on the inside. So lava, you know, that's what we, we call it because that's the stuff that we see is the lava. But it's actually called magma when it's inside the volcano. And when it's outside, it's called lava. I didn't know that. I thought they were kind of the same thing. I mean, it is the same thing. It's just called something different for where it's at. <laughs> okay, next up, we need to kind of shape our mountainside here, our volcano's side. So I'm going to kind of make it feel a little bit more like rocky, make it a little squiggly, and have it kind of come out a little bit like that. I'll do the same thing on this end. Kind of come down, maybe flare out just a little bit at the bottom. And then... Here's a little trick to make it look like it's kind of freestanding out here. We're just going to draw a few lines coming down the sides of our volcano. So there's no real right way to do this, like I said. So let's have one, maybe draw one a little bit longer over there. We'll draw one that kind of comes down to about there. Another shorter one. Another one over here. Just kind of draw some random lines coming down here. This is your mountain, so you draw it however you'd like to. I like that. I got a few little lines in there. Okay, now what we're going to do here at the bottom is we're going to start connecting some of these lines, but we're just going to make some of them are longer than others, and this is the reason why. So I'm going to kind of go like that, 
Let this be a little bit longer, and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to kind of roll that one back and then connect it to this line right here. We'll just connect those. And then I'm going to bring it up a little bit so it looks like it's not all in the same. That some are further back and some are closer up. And it kind of gives a little more variation and texture to our, to our mountainside. So I'll do a line right there, maybe another one right over here, but shorten it up a little bit and maybe one more shorter. There you go. That's pretty cool, huh? So now it doesn't look just completely flat. It looks a little bit dimensional. That's what happens when you overlap shapes or make some bigger than others. You can start making things look like they're 3D, like they're not completely flat. All right, so now we got the base of our volcano. Now we need to start making this stuff spewing out the top with the magma turning into lava as it shoots out. So we're gonna do a little bit of this. Do a little curve out here. A little curve and then just kind of bring it back in here. And then we're gonna do another little curve on the inside and have that kind of shoot out over there. And just keep doing that. You see what I'm doing here? I'm just kind of making these little splashes of lava. Ooh, I'm kind of keeping it all kind of flowy and curvy. Let all the, the curves flow right into the next one. And it makes it feel more organic and real. Okay, so we drew the lava spewing out the top, but how does it happen? How do volcanoes happen? Basically, Volcanoes are just holes in the earth. Our earth is made up of layers, different layers. We're on the crust, which is the outside. So you have the dirt and then underneath that's rock. And if you get closer and closer to the center of the earth, it gets hotter and hotter. And those rocks even melt and they turn into magma. So that's where that is. That magma underneath there is getting really hot and restless. And sometimes there's pressure built up in there. They get pressure bubbles when it gets really thick and there's nowhere for it to go. So it has to go out. And so there's places on the earth where they have vents or little holes in the earth and that's volcanoes. And that's where the magma gets to shoot itself out. Just like if you had a soda, soda bottle and you were to shake it real hard before you took the lid off, what would happen? That's right, it would just go and shoot everywhere. Have you seen those people who do Mentos and Coke? Same type of thing. All that pressure builds up and shoots out and that's what a volcano is. So that's what we're drawing here. An explosion of all this magma turning into lava and having all this ash and smoke coming out. So that's what I wanna draw right up here. So I'm gonna kinda of have a, I think the next step is to kinda of do some of these little pillowy ash clouds. A little plume of ash coming out here first. Or a pillar of ash, I should say. Kinda of something like that. And it's gonna be shooting out and then we're gonna do Maybe another one kind of getting a little bit bigger. Another one over here getting a little bit bigger. And now we're gonna draw a bunch of these on the outside to make the outside shape of our ash cloud. So I'm gonna start maybe, I'll start like right over here. I'm gonna start with a big circle, kind of a, almost a circle and I'll stop. And then I'll start doing some different sizes. Do some smaller ones, some bigger ones. And then I'm just gonna run that all the way to about there. And then I'm going to keep doing that. And you can kind of vary up the size of them or the shape of them, how wide it is. That's completely up to you. And it can be completely random. But I kind of like how that looks. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay. So now from here, I'm just going to build off a few other little curves in here to make it feel like it's a really big puffy cloud of this ash. So I'm going to go maybe a few more like circles right there, maybe a couple over here, a few more, maybe some over here. There we go. I don't know, maybe there's, maybe there's a few more. <laughs> okay, if I keep, I'll keep going and I keep making more. So I think this looks pretty good for now. Look at it and see if you wanna make some, some more. Um, okay, I'm gonna add more. <gasps> there we go, I'm gonna add some more. I think this looks pretty good though. I'm gonna stop right there. Okay, I'm gonna stop right there. So I got my ash cloud. That ash cloud, by the way, it can shoot up to about 17 miles up into the sky. That's how powerful these volcanoes are. Isn't that incredible? 17 miles up into the sky. That is incredible to me at least. Now I'm gonna add a few more of these little splashes of this just to look like it's shooting out and breaking up. Maybe a few little circles, maybe this little 
chunks of rock and thing that are shooting out of here. I'll probably find more stuff to draw here as I get to my outlining portion. But uh, yeah. Oh, oh, maybe let's do like a little, like we've done with our fire. I don't know if you drew our fire, but it had a, uh, had a couple little layers within that flame to make it look a little bit more interesting. Have some orange and yellow in there to get the different colors. Or you can just do that with your coloring. That's fine. But uh, yeah, I think this is looking pretty good. All right, so I think our sketch is looking good. Hopefully you're happy with yours. If you need to pause this, go ahead and pause it and catch up. But I'm gonna go jump straight into the outline. I'm not gonna have you watch all of it, but uh, I do have a few more little fun things about volcanoes I can share with you as I start outlining my volcano. Like, volcanoes are really interesting because just because they're a volcano doesn't mean that they can explode. Do you know that? Not all volcanoes actually explode. Some volcanoes are dormant, which means they're sleeping. So I guess technically they could explode, um, but they're sleeping. So they're not active, which is the other type of volcano, which is it's called an active volcano. And that means there's stuff constantly moving and, and happening in there, <laughs> um, pressure being released and things within those volcanoes. And then there are some that are extinct and extinct volcanoes just means they can't erupt anymore there's nothing to erupt <laughs> so you have dormant active and extinct volcanoes those are the different types of volcanoes and they're all over the world there are 1500 around 1500 active volcanoes all around the world isn't that crazy? That's a lot of volcanoes. But rarely do we see these massive ones happen. They don't happen all the time. And hopefully they don't happen when we're near them because they are so powerful. Do you know a place that has tons of active volcanoes all the time? On one of Jupiter's moons, I think call it, it's called Lo, L-O. I think that's the name of the moon but it has active volcanoes on it all the time. In fact, as they are looking at the surface of the moon, it constantly changes because there's so many massive volcanoes all over the planet. Whew, that'd be kind of a crazy planet to visit, kind of a terrifying planet to visit. And so there's probably nothing living on it because I don't think they could live on there. All right, well, I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of the outlining and the coloring, and then we can catch up right after. How does that sound? Awesome, okay, let's do that. I just have a few little dots left to add in here and I should be finished. Take a step back, take a look at it. All right, I really like how this turned out. I like doing the different colors here to make it look like it's a little bit more dimensional here on our volcano. I really like the plume of, of all the ash. How did yours turn out? Awesome. Well, at least I hope you had a lot of fun. And uh, if you're really proud of it, which you should be, you should be proud of it. And don't worry if it's not perfect. That's okay. It's your drawing. It's your volcano. It should look however you want to. But when you're done, you got to make sure that you sign it and own your work because you are the creator and everybody should know that you made it. So I'm going to go ahead and put my initials down there at the bottom and we're ready to wrap this up. Well, thank you guys so much for drawing with me. It's so much fun having you guys here and drawing stuff and remind me what you guys want to draw. I love drawing what you want to draw. And so uh, let me know, have your parents reach out to us. They can do that on email or go on to Instagram and message us. You can also send pictures of your work on Instagram or just tag us at Brave Kids Art Club so I get a chance to see it and so does everybody else. But thank you guys so much. Subscribe to the channel and remember, be brave, be creative, and most importantly, be you. All right, we'll see you guys next time.